Hey guys and welcome to Tony Badger Gaming. My name is James and today I'm going to be talking about how to unlock melee weapons in Battlefield 1. But before we jump into the video, you can check the description below um, for the appropriate time in the video for the bit that you want to watch. So before you spawn into a game, go onto your class customization and scroll to the bottom. Here you'll see melee weapons, so simply select that, and there you'll see all the melee weapons within the game. However, not all of them will be unlocked. Some of them will say that you need to spend 150 war bonds to get them, whereas others um, are locked and require you to have a specific class level. As you can see, I've unlocked most of them already, I just need to buy them with war bonds. Um, in order to get every single one, you need to get your class level to level 2 on every class. So that's why I don't have um, the compact trench knife, because I'm not level 1 with sport. I'm really not a big fan. So get to level 2 with each class and every single one will be available to unlock. Then you just have to spend 150 war bonds um, to unlock it. To get war bonds, you just, you just get them for playing the game and leveling up. Um, depending on what level you are, um, you get a different amount of war bonds. The higher, the more. Um, and in order to level your class up, you simply just have to play play with it and get as much score as possible. So if you're playing as the medic, um, drop uh, med kits. If you're playing as support, drop ammo, ammo boxes. Or just simply getting kills or capping objectives will, will do the trick as well. Alternatively, if you don't want to have to change your melee weapon through the game, you can go onto the Battlefield 1 Companion website. Um, and that will take you to your career. And then you can edit your loadout through there and uh, change your weapon there. So is there actually a difference between the melee weapons besides the cosmetics? And the answer is yes, they each have different damage, speeds and uh, kill zone stats. And also some of them have the ability to break wire, wood and even damage light vehicles. So let's take a few examples. The combat knife, the default melee weapon for starting off with, has relatively low damage but very high speed meaning that um, you can lunge very quickly with it. And it has a large kill zone, meaning that you can uh, hit enemies from further away. Um, but it does not have the ability to break wire, wood, or damage light vehicles. So, a second example is the pickaxe. This has a, a very high damage. So, you might even kill your enemy and run with them, with it, depending on how much health they have, of course. Um, but it does have a lot slower speed and a lower kill zone. Now, it does actually have the ability to break wood and damage light vehicles as well. So, in my opinion, this would work really well with the assault class because it gives you another option to attack uh, light vehicles with. And um, the third example, the Spike Club, is actually very similar. It has the same abilities in the sense that it can break wood and damage light vehicles as well. But the damage is slightly less and the speed and kill zone um, slightly more. So, it's only a very slight difference and it's really personal preference as to which one um, you like. Also, you might be wondering how to get the legendary melee weapons in Battlefield 1. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there are currently two legendary melee weapons in Battlefield 1 um, that you can unlock. One of which is the Bartek Bludgeon, it's like um, some wooden spiky mace type thing. You can view this by going onto more, and then onto battle packs, and then onto puzzles, and you'll see this. And I'll say that you need five pieces to unlock it. Now, in order, to, in order to get these pieces, you actually have to unlock them through battle packs. Now, there are three types of battle packs, the uh, standard one, um, the enhanced one, and then finally the superior battle pack. And obviously, the superior and enhanced battle packs have higher chances of, the, of uh, having a piece. I opened my first superior battle pack um, today, and I got a piece straight away, so I'd recommend you get this. So hopefully this gave you some insight into uh, how the weapons vary and... Uh, how to unlock them, etc. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please drop a like and comment. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.